May 16th through the 22nd is Aquatic Nuisance Species Awareness Week. We're here with Ben Holen to give us a status update on aquatic nuisance species in North Dakota. I'm Mike Anderson with the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. First of all, Ben, give our viewers a brief description of what ANS is. Aquatic nuisance species are non-native plants and animals that threaten the ecological stability, our recreational resources, and the economy associated with those resources here in North Dakota. Ben, talk about Aquatic Nuisance Species Awareness Week. Sure. This is uh, May 16th through the 22nd here. We're going to have a lot of different federal, state, and local partners participate and spread the word about aquatic nuisance species awareness and the importance of keeping them out of our lakes and rivers. And this is a national campaign? Yep, North Dakota is participating in the national campaign here. Uh, there will be lots of resources for local people to use and learn about aquatic nuisance species and the steps to keep them out of our water bodies. Okay, who are the partners? Uh, we have the Department of Ag, the Water Commission, North Dakota Parks and Rec Department, Garrison Conservatory District, uh, and many other state and local partners that will be participating this week to spread the word about aquatic nuisance species. Ben, that's quite the diverse group of partners. It, this is really a di diverse water issue. So this is not just a fishing and hunting issue. This is a water users issue. Um, every citizen in North Dakota could be affected by aquatic nuisance species directly or indirectly. So that's why there's a wide variety of partners here that are helping with this week. Why is aquatic nuisance species the spread of aquatic nuisance species so bad? Because we have great water resources here in North Dakota and we stem to lose some of that if aquatic nuisance species uh, spread into our lakes, lakes and rivers. Um, we have good water infrastructure and aquatic nuisance species can cut off water supply and they can cut off supply to irrigation and egg farms and water ditches and so it's much more than just a hunting and angling issue. Okay, what's new for 2021? Uh, well, first of all, we have a new digital marketing campaign here for the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. It's arguing a lot of our bigger water varieties and our high-risk ANS infested waters. At those ANS infested waters, you'll be seeing an increase in uh, watercraft inspectors. Uh, a lot of our bigger prevention waters, you'll also see an increase. So we're greatly increasing our watercraft inspection force and getting more people on the landscape to catch aquatic nuisance species. We have new eyelids, which are virtual inspection devices that will be deployed at ramps. There will be CD3 waterless cleaning devices that are located at a few ramps to lower the biological risk of your watercraft. Um, we have some wash stations out there available to the public to use. Uh, and we're just out there to stop aquatic nuisance species getting into our lakes and rivers. Um, we have clean drain dry stamps uh, and stencils on ramps that remind people to clean drain dry whenever they come off a water body. What can an angler expect if they run into one of your boat inspection sites? Sure, it takes about three minutes of their time and they'll ask you a series of questions to, look, uh, to assess the risk of your um, watercraft and then from there inspect your watercraft and remove any high risk scenarios so that the, your biological risk of your watercraft is low when exiting or entering a water body. And they're just basically there to educate. Yep, and that's one of our main priorities as another education tool. Uh, feel free to ask them any questions and it's just an overall good way to learn more about aquatic nuisance species. Where are we at in North Dakota as far as aquatic nuisance species? Well, we're really fortunate because we're fairly limited on the aquatic nuisance species we have. Uh, last year, Lake Lemoore got zebra mussels, but you know, we're, we're still limited, so we want, really want to keep it that way in North Dakota. And your crews are going out and taking samples from a lot of lakes around the state, so you're on top of it. Yep, no, we, we sample over 143 water bodies every year for, for zebra uh, and quagga mussels, and we do vegetation sampling, Asian carp, uh, many other, looking for many other aquatic nuisance species also. Okay, and to keep it that way, what can people do? People can clean, drain, dry their watercraft every time. So remove drain plugs, all water storage devices. If you have a wakeboard boat, drain your ballast tanks, pressure wash your ballast tanks out. Uh, commercial users can make sure their equipment's clean every time before moving it to one water body to the next. If everybody follows those guidelines, Ben, we can lower the risk of aquatic nuisance species spreading into our lakes and rivers and keep our lakes and rivers great for a long time. A lot of great information, thank you. Thanks, Mike.